Hello guys, in this video we will practically compare good old jQuery with Vue.js. I asked a colleague Marius to create a demo project with a form, master detail form, which means like you create a record and that record has sub-records. An example is add a question with options for a quiz or exam or something like that. So you create a question, I will use form filler to fill the main things and then there are question options. So you add an option, it may be correct or incorrect, you add another option, uh, then you add another option, you may delete an option, and then you save those options with a question, which are then presented in the table. And I ask him to create two versions, jQuery and Vue.js. And visually, they are not different. So if you click question view, same form filler, same add option, so nothing is different. And the backend isn't different either. So both form produce the question with array of options. So this is the code for the controller. Store method creates a question and then parses input of option text, which is an array, and then saves the option with has many relationship. And now let's take a look at the front end. So the goal of this video is to compare jQuery with Vue.js. So for those of you who haven't started with Vue.js, I will show you how different it is. Similar and different in ways. And for those of you who are undecided whether to start, maybe in some ways good old jQuery wouldn't be that bad. And it's a pretty opinionated video and there are multiple ways how to structure the same things. But this is just an example. Let's just take an example. So we have simple create blade with jQuery. We have a form with those lines and we need to do for each old option text if the form validation fails and then they should return the old options still present. So we list those or we list empty one row and every row has an input and a checkbox. And then there's a button with class delete option and above the table there should be a button. There we go, add option. And with jQuery, what do we need to do? On document ready, we need to add methods. On add option click, on delete option click, right? So this is exactly what we do here. In the same blade file, we have a script section and we do simply on document ready, add option click, we create a new row, or in fact we clone the last row and we append to the table. So just creating an empty row basically. Add on click delete option is just closest tr remove. So in my opinion it's pretty simple. Now if you do the same with Vue.js, let's look at the blade file first. Same form, just instead of all those options we have a component question options with parameters old option text, so the same as for each old, and also is correct should be passed as old parameters. And the component itself, question options.view, it lists the same HTML, so the part of template means HTML part that is rendered, then we have click add option method, and then we have similar table with for each just written in Vue.js language, so v4, and that part is pretty similar, input checkbox, input name, just you need to have bindings. So V model is binding to option text and is correct is binding to is correct. Also the button delete option has event on click and then in the script section you need to define the properties to work with them. So every click will work actually with properties with option text and is correct and also options. And then we have method add option which works just with the data and then Vue.js passes that data to visually transform the form and the table. So method add option, method delete option. And also on created we need to pass all options to be visible. And then we need to register that component in the main app.js or somewhere, then do npm install npm run dev and then it works. So with this example I wanted to show how much more work it is actually with Vue.js to make the same thing. And again, it's an opinion. I'm not voting against Vue.js or for jQuery, but for these specific simple examples, my message is that it's okay to do something with jQuery if you have done that for the last 5 or 10 years. In my opinion, as I mentioned in a few previous videos, Vue.js or any JavaScript framework is beneficial for bigger projects when you actually need that structure, where you have a lot of components, complex structure of a lot of pages, and then your application becomes front-end first, so Vue.js first and then API for Laravel. For these simple transformations, I'm not sure I would use Vue in this case. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments. 
So if you had to do the same thing, would you use jQuery or Vue.js and why? Also, for those of you who haven't started with Vue.js, I have a separate video demo of 22 minutes how to transform Laravel Blade and old way of doing things into Vue.js. So take a look at that. The link is there. And see you guys in other videos.